Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed! Last time, we arrived in Adabad for the first time, finding out that apparently some crazy things are going on at night around Adabad. In this episode, we're hopefully going to be taking care of all of Adabad in this episode, depending on how well I do on this nighttime stage, because I... I'm going to try and do something I normally don't do in Werehog stages. Go fast. So, welcome to the Adabat Hub. This is usually around the time of the game where people hit a snag when it comes to doing things for Sonic Unleashed. Because Adabat requires a lot of medals for you to have. And if you don't have them then usually it's a stop gate for a lot of people. But let us... Let us actually pick this up so then I can grab this life. All right. Run up. Whoa, okay, whew, that was close. But, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the last of the regular nighttime stages in the game. And it only requires a level five instead of a level six. Huh, I could have sworn this was a level six. But, let us tackle Jungle Joyride Act One at night. All right, let's do this. Oh, doomed lines and enemies, cute. I think I went the wrong way. No, I think I'm going the right way. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do, game. Okay, we're gonna fight enemies. I didn't want to fight enemies. But you're giving me no choice, game! Okay, these doomed lines are getting annoying. And away we go! Oh look, more enemies. This time I have to fight them, though. Alright. That should take care of all of them. I think you can destroy this rock. Kick. Well, that's not a kick, that's a punch. Anyway, that would probably lead you to some medals. We go. That should be all the enemies. There we go. So let's keep going. Uh oh. Falling apart decks are never a good thing. Right? Haven't seen these poles since Chunan. And let us open up said door. To a mama! Oh, got knocked down. There we go. That takes care of mama. Let us activate that. Get ourselves a life. Am I going to have to do a running jump for this? I think I'm going to have to do a running jump for this. Oh! Why did my control stick move? Great, now we got to fight Mama again. On the bright side, in between all the... Wait. 
It's not playing the dun 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 Oh, now it is. There we go. Activate the switch again. At least we died getting a life, right, guys? I freaking hate myself right now. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we don't go this way just yet, so we go over this way. All right, going up. There's another metal. Oh, that was my fault. See, I'm trying to rush through this stage because I want to be able to tackle the daytime stage in this episode. And the daytime stage is kind of long. Plus, also, this is actually a rather short stage. There we go. Activate those. I love the music for Adabat Night, too. It's probably my favorite nighttime stage track, which is a shame that it gets ruined by the jazz theme. Like so. Take care of you, doomed lions. Whoa, almost ran straight into the water right there. Take you this. Put it down right here. Oh, wait. So I didn't have to activate that? Okay. Maybe I did. All right, I'm gonna guess that I did. Going up. Oh, okay, yeah, because there's a lever up here. Oh, this is such a good track. I've already messed up the time I was trying to get, because if you do the stage right, you can do the stage in like four minutes. Not getting up until the end of doing that. Gonna jump. I can hear you, Gold Ring. Soon. Keep swatting me away like a fly. There we go. That takes care of the Titan. All right. Now let us start activating these switches. Aw, oh, dang it, there's an order. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Goal ring, it's right through there. Right. Oh, 
Okay. So I know the order. You have to follow the order that the flower grows in. Okay, that makes sense. Which means next we go over this way. That probably led you to uh, another thing. All right, one, two, and gold, well, gold key, I should say. Not a gold ring, but a gold key. So, let's get it. Eight minutes, no, that's not bad. Still in A rank, but sadly not, not the best. But we got the Temple of Gaia Gate Key, and I got three of the Sun Medals somehow, and one of the Moon Medals. Yeah, not that that really matters. Now that is this level up system. All right, so that takes care of that, which means now we should be able to go and access the daytime stage, which requires a level seven sun medal. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All right. So let us change it from night to day. Well, I, at least I should, unless I have to return to Professor Pickle. Looks like I gotta return to Professor Pickle. All right. I can return to Professor Pickle. Because there shouldn't be any other stages that I have to do. I wonder if Windows is here. Windows is indeed not here. All right. Yep, gotta return to Professor Pickle. So, go to the capital, return to Professor Pickle, and then we go and tackle the stage, which means this might be a long episode. Because that stage is long. <laughs> It scares me. Wintos! You got anything for me? Uh, you got chocolate. And it's only at a reasonable price. I'll do this. Beat it to Chip at the end of the episode. And if Chip isn't at max happiness, I'm going to be very surprised. Bye, Wintos! Whoa, camera. Whoa, camera. All right. Hello, Professor's assistant. Hello, Amy. Professor, we got one of the keys. Can we get the other half now? Uh, it's about souvenirs. Do I have any? Yes, I do. I have the miniature photo frame. Yes, a hundred missions you told us that beforehand. Oh, it's a moon medal, too. Miniature flag. Two, yes, 200 sun and 200 moon medals. I, I already know this. And we get an art book. Let us view our souvenirs. Let's see what I'm missing. Looks like I'm missing Empire City and Adabat souvenirs and one other place. And it's annoying because to get all of them, Wentos is going to have to start selling them. So, yeah. So I'll meet you guys back at Adabat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back at Adabat and the day stage has been revealed. This is the final regular day stage of the game, ladies and gentlemen. You require a level seven sun medals to get. This is where a lot of people get hung up on the sun and moon medals because they haven't been collecting them. And as a result, you get to add a bat and you add a stop gate. But luckily, since I've been collecting throughout the entire project, we're not at a stop gate. Instead, we're at Jungle Joyride. Act one, day. And go indeed! Welcome everyone to my favorite daytime Sonic tra 
track. Well, technically, I guess this is a track. This is a type of course. Course of death and sadness, but a course nonetheless. In Sonic Unleashed, Jungle Joyride Day. I love the music of Jungle Joyride Day as it is my favorite daytime track. At the same time, I love the set pieces that are inside this stage because they get my blood pumping and test my reflexes, which are old man levels, which is very bad. Which is why I have an also, uh, you know, sadness about this level because I have an E relationship with this level. It's very easy to screw up this stage, ladies and gentlemen. I mean very easy to screw up this stage. And it's very sad that that is the case. Because you can be so far in the stage only for you to lose it all at the last minute, which I've proven multiple times on this game that that is the case. Which is one thing I don't like about Sonic Unleashed because if you so much as die once, you can pretty much kiss your score goodbye. And that results in great sadness upon me because that means my rank goes to complete shite. But now we go into the water section. And using this, I can explain why Jungle Joyride Day is the other reason why I ended up, you know, deciding to do the 360 version. While there is noticeable slowdown that you just saw right there with these water pillars, as well as noticeable slowdown with uh, the jungle sections, such as this one right here, uh, we unfortunately... Uh, you know, have it worse for the PlayStation 3 version of the game. I mean, it is abnormally worse on the PlayStation 3 version of the game. Like, really, really bad on the PlayStation 3 version of the game. There is slowdown and then speed up everywhere because the th I think I've mentioned this earlier in the project. The PlayStation 3 version runs some levels at 60 frames per second because it runs higher than um, 30 frames per second, unlike the Xbox 360 version, which is capped at 30. And part of the problem with that results in there being slowdown because the PlayStation 3's cell processor is a load of garbage and is the entire reason why many games, unfortunately, take a lot longer to port over to the PlayStation 4 and also why there's no backwards compatibility. I mean, literally, the cell processor was a terrible, terrible mistake for some to do. I still question why they did it in the first place. All right, wait for the water to stop spouting. Whoa, I almost hit the wrong button there. Right. Now on to another part of the stage that always screws me up. Crawling around at the speed of sound. Ooh. Right. And now on to the last part of the stage. This part is easy to screw up if you're not careful. Whew, okay, that was close. Push the button. Oh, look, a record. That's nice. All right, I'm going to take a chance right here, and I shouldn't do it. Took a chance, and it paid off. Uh 
Uh oh. Oh my god, I did it! Mine! Oh, I was tense for that. But the S rank is mine! Ugh. Man, that stage can be very hairy if you end up dying, believe me. Especially at the end section. But there we go! Gaia Gate Temple Key, and somehow along the way we got two moon medals. That's nice. Don't care. I'm done with the stage with the regular stages. Oh, thank god. But, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Jungle Joyride Day completely done. And look, we have some green tea, surprisingly found in Adabat. Yep, we will be taking this. But, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to be tackling the boss of Adabat. See y'all next time.